Hi everyone, it's Sue from Artcraft and Journals. Today I have a couple of hauls for you. This one is from my local Salvo store. Um, and basically what I got, which I was really, really happy about, because I have sort of been looking for a while, not specifically this exact model, but a similar one. It's a Rolodex, um, and it was $4, which I thought was a bargain. Although, I guess if they're not used anymore, they're not a bargain. But it's still got all its little tabby things on it. And basically, I'll just move this out of the way. Basically, you just flip it like so. So I thought I might uh, make myself some little little Rolodex cards. Just, you know, as little projects and things. When I've only got five minutes or whatever. I thought I might do that. Um, I might also maybe have some sort of a challenge giveaway down the track where people can send me um, a card uh, that I can put on there with their details, something like that. I'm not sure yet. I just thought I really wanted it when I saw it and I thought for $4, how can you go wrong? Um, I also picked up some books. This one here, the Oracle book. Um, I just love the cover. I thought, you know, I can do something with that. Uh, it was $3.00. Um, and I guess some of the pages inside are useful as well. You know, I could actually use it as an altered um, book and take some of the pages out. I'm working it that way. Not sure yet, but saw it, grabbed it. This one was 50 cents, and I grabbed this one basically because it's got some gorgeous little pictures on in it which I'm not sure what I'll do with that one yet, but I just love the pictures. This one I got basically um, for me to read. <laughs> it's Making Journals by Hand, and it's a book about journal making. So I thought I might have a read of that and see if there's something different in there or something, you know, useful that I could use. Some of the, um, the books look quite interesting, actually, the way they've done them. So I thought, yeah, that's, you know... A great book to have a read. So that was that one. This one here was a dollar. Um, Forgotten Household Crafts. And it's um, this one, yeah, a dollar. And I'm not sure if that's real mould or or not. But it certainly smells like it's been in um, the back of a cupboard somewhere. It's got like that um, old book, but it's like a camphory smell. Something, you know which I actually really don't like, but um, I thought this has got some, some awesome old style pictures in there that I might be able to use at some point. So again, there's that. See, if you look on the here too, you can see little spotches. So possibly it is real mold, but eh, I, I thought it was worth getting anyway. And hopefully the smell will disappear pretty quickly. Now, the other place that I did visit Oops, just move these out of the way. The other place I visited is, um, and I did have a brochure. I'm not sure if it's still here though. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's called Hunted. Um, and it's basically a, like a big warehouse and it's divided up into sections. Very similar to the mill... I think they're called the mills, mills, something like that, where you have different people will rent a space and they'll have their, their goods um, on display there. Um, it's, as you can see by the address, it's in um, Kilsyth, which is probably oh, maybe 40 minute, 45 minute drive from my place. Don't go there often, um, you know, maybe once every three months or something just to have a look. Do have some great stuff though. Um, I did get this pack of four their um, napkins. They were, I can't actually remember how much they were. They weren't expensive though, considering what that there were four of them, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. Um, unfortunately, they take the prices off them when you buy them, so unless you remember them, you know, you can't remember the prices. So, that there were four of those, though. I think it might have been $6, actually, because I remember thinking, oh, they're just over a dollar each. So, that was pretty good, I thought. I'm um, not sure what I'll do with them. Um, could make a cover for a journal, possibly, or just cut that out for some slow stitching or something like that. 
I did get um, some little handkerchiefs. Now they came in twos. So there's those two. They were together. Um, I think these were a dollar for the two. And I've got this one here and this one. And again, I thought maybe some slow stitch projects. I might scan them. I'm not sure yet. Wait and see. I did get this packet of um, napkins. There's, there were four in there for, I think it was one seventy-five, dollar seventy-five. dollars um, They're ones I don't have, so I thought, yeah, I'll have those. Uh, let me see. This here is some vintage lace. Um, I think it's a metre twenty. Oh, hang on. Let's, there's a little message in here. It says, thanks for the neighbourly chats, coffee, conversations and sharing the vision to reduce, reuse, recycle, peace, peace, I don't know. But that was that was only a couple of dollars, that piece. I did get these two books here. They're um, music books with music sheets. Um, I can't remember how much these were. They weren't expensive, though. Definitely under $5. This was $5, a piano roll. Um, and I picked this particular one out of the whole bunch simply because it did have that the really nice sort of opening. Some of them didn't have that. Some of them were um, very plain. I do have another one of these somewhere. But um, I thought, meh, another one. Um, and this packet here, it was $2. And basically it's just a whole bunch of stickers. Now there's a lot of kids ones here but there's also some bits and pieces that I thought might be useful. Um, you know some dots they're probably not very good anymore but there's a couple of rub-ons who knows if they work but um, when I did buy it the thing that really struck me because I could see it out the back back of the packet was these these um, stickers not so much those because they're all gone but these here I thought they were great I thought those alone were probably worth the couple of dollars that I paid. And these are quite quirky too. I thought these would make some nice quirky ATCs actually. And some more rub-ons. So yeah, for two dollars I thought I'll take a chance on that. So that was my haul from Hunted. And what I did actually do, I did do a little bit of videotaping in, as I was going was a little difficult because obviously you've got other people in there and I certainly didn't want other people in the video. Um, so I kind of just did snippets here and there. I will pop it at the end of this video. So if you're interested to see what sort of things they have, if you're, you know, not too far away, um, you know, it might be worth a drive down and have a look. So I'll pop that video um, or bits or video because it is in little bits and I'll put them together um, I'll pop that on the end of this video so that you can have a look as well but that was my recent um, purchases um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed looking at those um, and I will see you next time bye for now